Officials nationwide have now warned of a shortage of antibiotics, and it's made some families concerned about having enough medication out there if their children get sick. 13's Madison Bickley spoke with local hospitals to check in on our stockpile here at home. Madison. David, as cold and flu season continues and colder weather starts to push in, hospitals in Topeka say they have adequate inventory for the most prescribed antibiotic, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin treats bacterial infections such as strep throat, ear, and chest infections. It can be a hot commodity during cold and flu season, and despite national headlines, Topeka facilities say they're ready. Thankfully, we've got a good team of pharmacists here, and they keep really on top of our shortages and try to make sure that they're maneuvering ahead of those so that we can keep well supplied. But, you know, um, it comes down to hospitals working together when there are national shortages. Often different pharmacies will work together and different hospitals will work together to try and make sure that everyone's supplied with what they need. Dr. Jared Schreiner of Topeka ER and Hospital says many people will insist on antibiotics for themselves or their children, but listen to your doctor. Many of the infections that a lot of our children are getting are actually viruses that really don't need to be on antibiotics in order to get better. And so a lot of times, unfortunately, we see people getting antibiotics that they probably don't need, which really leads to an overuse and then a short supply for those patients that really do need an antibiotic. Doctors say shortages can happen with any medication at any time. If an amoxicillin shortage was to occur, hospitals say they can adapt so children have what they need. Thankfully, there are different antibiotics we can choose from. Amoxicillin isn't the only uh, medication available for bacterial infections. So we just have to really work with your doctor and speaking with the patient or the patient's parents to really educate them, talk about whether or not an antibiotic is really even needed, and if so, you know, which one is the best and which one's available. Stormont Vale and St. Francis also tell us that they are not currently experiencing a shortage of amoxicillin. I appreciate the update. We'll keep everyone posted.